So now onto the part of the video you're all here for. Why you clicked on the video, what every true red-blooded American man wants in a power tool review, showing the tool working and showing off all that power. So guys, I shared with you the first glimpses of the Milwaukee M12 Insider back in June at the ISN Tool Show. Fast forward to the beginning of August and we were invited out to Milwaukee's Pipeline event and we got to see and use the tool much more than we did at the ISN show. Fast forward once again to current time here in September and we finally have the Milwaukee M12 Insider in hand. We can finally do whatever we want with it, test it without anyone looking over our shoulder. And now we can finally answer the question, is this the next greatest tool since sliced bread or is it overly hyped? With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video and testing and looking at all the features and benefits of the new M12 Insider. So guys, starting off with a lot of the common asked questions and comments I saw on the TikToks, on the shorts, on the reels on this tool, a lot of people were concerned about the sockets, about how they use a proprietary sized socket for the Insider. Well, don't fear, because whether you buy a bare tool or a kit as you see here, you will get this rail of metric sockets. This socket set is an 8 to 19 with a 21 included. You get a 3 8 square drive, a quarter inch square drive, and a quarter inch hex bit adapter. So no matter which one you get, you will get the sockets with it. Now there are SAE sockets available as well, but they are sold separately. Now this is the full kit as you see here. It comes with a high output CP 2.5 amp hour battery, the insider ratchet, the sockets, and a charger. Now a lot of people asked about the pass-through design. So this ratchet is not focused on the pass-through design. It is a neat little feature up to 15 millimeter or 9 16 but it's not the end all be all of what this ratchet's used for or what the general reasoning is for this ratchet. The main reason behind this ratchet existing is compact overall size of the head and the socket on this ratchet compared to other cordless battery powered and pneumatic ratchets. This is simply more compact as a complete package than a traditional powered ratchet with a traditional socket on it. Now, a lot of people said, well, that's all well and good for getting into tight, confined areas, but what if I want to use a deep well socket? What if I'm using it on something that's deeper than these shallow sockets, or if it's on a bigger fastener that's not a pass-through design, and I need some more depth? Well, all you've got to do at that point is grab your regular square drive adapter, either 3 8 or quarter inch, pop it in, and you can use it like any other regular ratchet with all the extensions you already own, all the sockets you already own, universal joints, anything that you can think of, you can use it just like any other ratchet by using that adapter. The main focus of this is the compact size for the included sizes for smaller fasteners that don't have a large stud, and those that do have a stud, you have the pass-through design on the smaller ones. Now, a lot of people ask, why didn't they go for a pass-through design on the larger sockets? And it's pretty simple to explain that once you get above a certain point, when you start going with a pass-through design, you are taking a lot of strength and a lot of mass out of that socket and making it more fragile and more weak. So they decided to play it safe and stop at 15 millimeter or 9 16 for pass-through designs, and then all the rest would be solid. Again, they are not focused on the pass-through part of this. It's merely for the compact overall size. And to show that off, I'll go ahead and grab a regular long-reach Milwaukee and put a traditional socket on it so you can see the size comparison. So one quick thing I didn't mention before is these have a longer reach than the traditional long-reach ratchets. This is the high-speed long-reach. As you see, it does have a longer neck and can get into deeper areas than the traditional high speed. But again, this is the main selling feature for the insider ratchet. We've got a 14 shallow on the high speed 3 8 inch drive, and we've got the 14 on the insider. And you can see just how much space savings you're saving right there with the insider versus a traditional ratchet and a traditional shallow socket. Having that extra space savings, being able to use a power tool rather than having to switch to a hand tool makes you more productive, gets the job done faster, and makes you more money in the long run. So at the beginning of this, I said that the whole point behind the M12 Insider is accessibility. It gets in places and does more than a traditional powered tool does. 
Now, we talked about how the compact head and the compact socket pass-through design get you into those areas where other power tools won't. We talked about how it's got a longer neck so you can reach in deeper than those other power tools. But one thing we haven't talked about is the fact that the drive is actually ambidextrous. It doesn't matter if you go in the front or the back. If you get in somewhere tight and your paddle switch is in your way, you can merely put the socket in the drive the opposite direction and use it just the same as if you would put it in the traditional forward facing towards the paddle position. Really neat, really cool, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is that a neat feature? for the insider compared to your regular powered ratchet. You can't put your socket on the back side of those. So with being able to put your socket on the back side of the drive, we traditionally have an LED light to light up the work for us. But if we put it on the back, we'll be in the dark, right? Well, no, Milwaukee thought of that and put you an LED light on the front and the back of the drive to light up either side, depending on which one you're using for the work. So before we go out and start putting this to work on actual vehicles, on actual nuts and bolts, Let's talk about some specs really quickly, and we're only gonna talk about two, the two that really matter, and that is the torque, which is 60 foot-pounds of torque, and the RPM, which is 350 RPM. This is a really quick tool and a really torquey tool. I think it really is a good balance between torque and RPM for a long-reach ratchet like this. So one last big difference between the Insider and other battery-powered ratchets is the strength of the head. This thing has been completely redesigned from previous electric and pneumatic ratchets. Traditionally, this is what your drive-in would look like on your ratchet. You'd have the paw inside that would spin around a geared housing that went back and forth, and you had just this area in contact when pulling on or turning the drive, which was very minimal. Now, the big difference in the Insider is that it has a dual paw mechanism. This center drive here has splines all the way around, or teeth all the way around, and there are dual paws on either side. I'll put in a clip showing a 3D printed model of the inside of the insider, but you have these external paws that grip the ratchet drive on the outside, rather than the old design where you just had a couple of little teeth in contact that went around the inside of the geared uh, yoke of the electric or pneumatic ratchet. So the head is much stronger on the insider due to the size of the paws and the amount of paws and teeth in contact with each other. A lot of people ask, could this possibly be your only long reach ratchet? And I think honestly that you could make this be your only long reach ratchet with the provided quarter inch and three eighths inch square drive adapters. You can use all your regular sockets like any other but you do have the insider feature for those compact spaces where you can get in where other ratchets cannot. So here's a quick real world example of that space savings in action. We're on a 2002 LL Bean Outback with a three liter. Now, if we wanted to get to this idler pulley, as you see, we can get on it, but we are very close to that coolant fan. Once we start taking that bolt loose, we're gonna get jammed up against the coolant fan and have to finagle the ratchet around to get out from around it where we compare the access with the insider ratchet. And we've got all the room in the world to back that fastener out and still get out and around. Now, I know that isn't the greatest example, but again, we're just showing the space savings of the insider as an assembly with the socket compared to a traditional shallow socket on a battery ratchet. This saves you from having to switch back and forth between a hand tool and a power tool, making you more efficient and getting the job done quicker, as I said previously. So now onto the part of the video you're all here for. Why you clicked on the video, what every true red-blooded American man wants in a power tool review, showing the tool working and showing off all that power. Let's see what it'll do against this old rusty Subaru three liter engine. Remember this isn't a right angle impact, it's a ratchet. So sometimes you gotta give it a little ump to break it loose before you uh, power on that uh, trigger.
So guys, there you have it. A look at the M12 Insider, usage of it, and answering your questions from the comment section. Hopefully I answered everything you wanted to know on it. If you've got more questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you on it. This will be releasing very soon. $299 bare tool with the sockets. $399 for the full kit with battery and charger. With that said, I'll have some links that will probably pop up if you are interested in purchasing or pre-ordering this tool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.